Hello everyone, I am Daniel and I am playing Borderlands the pre-sequel and I have to go investigate the location of Pickle's sister but I figured I'd visit Concordia first, do some stuff and wouldn't you know there's more missions here. Dragons. Okay, yeah I get that. Talk to you if you got a moment. Okay, mysterious I've up distress, distress signal. signal in the outlands. Someone okay. might need help, but maybe there's bonds of salvage out there instead. Uploading the cohorts to your echo device now. And so they get the board. Oh, I'm not the only one here in Bacon. That stinking traitor, the Mariff, might be dead, but I hate leaving a job unfinished. Sure, I can't kill him again, much as I'd love to, believe me, but I can make sure no one remembers he ever existed. Dear old Huckster kept kind of a diary about his exploits, hid three juicy echoes in his office. I want him gone. Find him. Destroy them. Let's wipe his grubby slate clean. Uh, are you sure about this? I have job. In Nurse Nina need you for love. No, <laughs> come out wrong. Nina lonely. Okay. Need partner for love times. Nina find three, how, how do you say, suitors. Suitors not know their suitors yet. Take flowers, take love cards from table. Um, okay then. Nina send you coordinates, yes? You find suitor number one. Uh, that's not creepy at all. And I feel sorry for the suitors. The people you're going after. Oh, wait, are they all po uh, is Are they all just pointing outwards? Yeah, they are. Let's go do the one for Jack then. Yup. Here I come to save the day. The Merif's office. Ew. Yeah, I love how everybody's all excited about this. Oh my god! It's going to destroy the moon! Yeah, we're probably gonna die. Now there's a giant blazer coming down from the sky. That's what I don't know this person. Oh, pull your bloody arms off! What? Um. Ooh, money. Any more moonstones? Nope. That's disappointing. Moonstones! Because that's really all I care about right now. I want more ammo for my freezy pistol gun. Between you and me, the guy had an ego the size of a space station. A freaking space station. But those are those are pretty big. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, seriously, in the fish tank? What a prick! Come on, let's hear the old goat one last time. Ah, oh, there's a quick guess, actually. Time, new job, and yeah, it's great to be king. I've worked bloody hard to get here, greased multiple palms, and kissed more than my fair share of arse. But it's worth it. Concordia needs someone like me to steer it through some choppy waters. Tough, fair, just the right amount of open-mindedness, and if a bit of extra money happens to fall into my pocket as I do my job, well, I'll just call that campaign finance. Feels great to leave Hyperion. There I was just a small cog in a huge machine. But here, here, I'm a big fish. I really need to work on my visual metaphors. Point is, the future's rosy for Huxter T. Meredith, a.k.a. Concordia's new Merith. Merith. A mayor and a sheriff. That's still <sighs> the dumbest thing ever. Wow. How much crap can one guy shovel? Man, I did the universe a favor wiping out his back shooting traitorous ass. You know what to do. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to actually destroy it now, don't I? Um. Oh, that was therapeutic. Okay, keep snooping around for another one. Uh, money. 
money. Really? The bookshelf? Okay. The old moving bookcase, huh? That guy was a walking freaking cliche. Nobody puts stuff behind bookcases anymore. Who even has books? Let's have some fun and see what else our bull shoveling pal had to say for himself. Poy it! <laughs> Moxie figure. <laughs> and candles. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Things going according to plan? I'm richer than my wildest dreams. Popular. <laughs> Alive. The other day, Philo Simmons, the guy with the weird leg, came to the office to thank me for the work I did with the food drive. Thank me. Shook my hand. Tears in his eyes. Can you believe it? Trembling chin in the works. I'm a flippin' saint. But why can't I sleep anymore? Sure, I didn't use all the money on food, but a man's got to live. I mean, a little bit. I'm still what this place needs, aren't I? It's a hard universe, and yeah, I, yeah, I can still turn this around. I could, I could still change. Uh, nice figure, though. Like that doesn't grow conscious overnight. He said it himself. He was happy to steal the food out of other people's mouths. Sure, it's a tough universe, but there's no excuse for being an asshole. Unless you're funny with it. Then it's kind of totally fine. But he wasn't even funny! Oh, I'm still trying to figure out how Jack turned into a villain. But, like, he doesn't sound like a villain. He doesn't. He sounds like a pretty average cool person. I, I don't understand. Like, what the hell happened? Like, how did he turn into a dick? If I don't, I won't have. But if I do, then things will not have been. Who is this person? I don't know. All right, let's see. Is this the last one? No. Really? A slot machine in his own office? Okay, I actually gotta respect that. Still, guy's an asshole. Was an asshole. Why listen to this? Just destroy the thing, will ya? Uh, I think you need to hear what the mayor has to say. It'll give you closure, sir. Fine. Man, who's the boss here? She came last night to help it. Made me betray Hyperion. Not that I care about the board, money grubbers. Just the clueless workers I'm probably helping to kill. I'm done, I'm out. I could feel the last of whatever it is I call a soul being destroyed as I accepted a payment. <laughs> but I didn't want to die. And if I didn't do what she said, who knows what she had done to Concordia. But I did have the keys to Helios. If I leave, then maybe Zarbaton and her purple army will leave my people alone. I'll go somewhere. I'll try to make a fresh start. Atone for my sins. I know I'm running away. Bloody coward. I'm the biggest ass on the moon. And there's some asses on that moon, but I'm the biggest. Wow. Zox was crawling around searching for some kind of redemption, huh? Well, I'll give him redemption. In fact, let's immortalize him in song. Don't destroy that last echo. Grab it. Take it to Moxie's and give it to those DJ assholes. Boom and rang. They owe me a favor. I got them the gig. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> Yay, let's hear him turn into a song. Because it's funny. <laughs> Just like that. Load. Right, uh, button. There it is. Button, button, where's the button? There's the button right there. Let's hear the song about the Marif. By Boom and whatever. this not even close, helmet head. Good. While they work on that, I want you to do something else. You know that terrible, ugly ass statue of our Marif? Oh. Give me its head. I'm cooking something up, and I think you're gonna like it. Please tell me I gotta blow it up. Please tell me I gotta blow it up. Please tell me I gotta blow it up. Man, even his statue is ugly. Let's improve it and remove the head. Shoot it or whatever. This is gonna be fantastic. Uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, do it. Oh, well, okay then. Uh. 
And booyah. Good. You are gonna love this. You know that rocket in town? Well, we're gonna have ourselves a little launch party. A rocket? You sure that's why, sir? Yeah, if this comes out anywhere close to how it is in my head, everyone in this town's gonna be talking about it for like pretty much ever. Alright. Oh, that rocket. Yeah, I remember that rocket. Vaguely. <laughs> okay, see that spike on the end? The rocket needs a new figurehead. Jump right up there and decorate it. Ha! Ah, perfect! His smug face will smash into whatever crap hole we fire it at. Speaking of which, put in some coordinates for this ship to fly to... I don't know, how about Pandora? Does the planet have a butthole you can send it to? Other than this one, of course. Um... I don't know. Let's find out. Okie dokie, looks like we're ready, people. Should really have a bottle of bubbly to smash against the side, but whatever. Launch it! Also, let's get some party music going. Hey, DJ assholes, let's hear that remix. Okay, yeah, that was pretty funny, actually. Now I know where that rocket came from. Kinda wondering about that, actually. I wonder, if I l reload Borderlands 2, will his face be on it now? I don't know. You know what? Obliterating people is fun. Let's do it again sometime. Alright, let's see, what else is there? Some Triton's Flats, Atlantis Canyon. Yeah, let's go to the canyon. Hello, is this thing on? Oh, oh yes, Hemlock! Um, I am Sir Hemlock, a zoologist on Pandora. There are some fascinating creatures on the moon, but one in particular strikes my fancy. Since I'm not much for interplanetary travel, could you acquire a couple of specimens and mail them to me? <laughs> now, I might mention that exporting lunar wildlife is highly illegal and more importantly frowned upon by polite society. You may have to smuggle the creatures off the moon. Hope that isn't too much of a problem. It's like we're rescuing them from a desperate life of fighting for their survival among bandits and thieves. Yes. Then, the creatures I have in mind are called moon threshers. Never been heard of or seen before. Breed like wildfire, apparently. Could be strange evolutions of carnivorous plants. Oh. I guess that answers my question from earlier. Where did all the threshers come from? More at that thresher. No, I knew. Probably. Little hypothesis in my head on them getting away from Hamelock. All right, it's all the way over there. All right, let's do this. Find creature nest. Okay. Let's deploy the POS. Are we close yet? Oh, we are now. Okay, we're here. Let's go to the icy pistol. Because it's icy and it's a pistol. Here I got to save the day. The re remembered cave. Ah, there we are. I need the little ones. Those big ones must be parents. Don't seem too friendly, do they? Oh well, as they say, to make an omelet, you need to murder things. And come on. Let's get my murder on. 
Shattering fun. Ow. Nope. Bye bye. Now try catching a few of the little ones. Be sure to keep them alive somehow. And maybe freezing them will slow them down and allow you to snatch them up. Perfect. They're quite adorable, aren't they? Try not oh, to feed them either. Convenience uh, dictates that I have this gun. Ah, oh, there we go. Now that you have Got the specimens him. in your possession, you must send them to me. I have an old boyfriend named Seymour who runs a horrid little shop out of a rocket. Take the freshest to him, and he'll be able to smuggle them off Elkus and down to Pandora's surface. Delightful. Okay. And, yeah, there's the last one. Ow! Oh no, not the rubber ducky again. Show up. There, it's dead now. We won't be seeing him in the freezing anymore. Probably. Oh, wow. It's not just the one, it's actually more. Is that the last one? Well, I hope it is. There we are, I think. No, there's another. dead now. Congratulations. Well, everyone, uh, that's it for this one. If you like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps us grow. And until next time, I'm Daniel, and this has been Borderlands, the pre-sequel.